The reason we wanted to get Mark on is last night I saw his video. Watson did a story on it today. It's up on Infowars.com. Video, Obama supporters don't know what party Obama is affiliated with. We're going to go to this video and then get some comments from Mark Dice. What political party is President Obama affiliated with? I think he's a Democrat. He's a Republican. I don't know. I really don't care. No, it's not important, man. We got weed to smoke. Exactly. <laughs> How'd you know? Hey. What uh, political party is Barack Obama affiliated with? God, I don't know. <laughs> Come on, seriously? I don't know, man. We're talking about the Lord Barack Obama. Uh -huh. What political party is he affiliated with, the Messiah? Um, I would think the Democrat Party, I guess. Uh, is that a guess, or do you, do you guess? Know? Yeah, I don't got time, man. Appreciate it. Oh, okay. Don't have time. Are you serious? Yes. What political party? Yes. Democrat. Oh. Uh, we're just checking with you. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think he's the best. The best ideas, good ideas. He's, he's a part of the ones. best ideas political party. Okay. I'd say he's, uh, Barack Obama is uh, affiliated with the... Um, you still affiliated with the uh, Republican Party? Oh, we're just just checking. We're doing some surveys on the pulse of America. To find out how brain dead everybody is. See what? See what's happening is brain. Uh, people Obama, are brain dead. That's what's happening. Well, not not people, but President Obama. He's brain dead too. Well, yeah. He, well, actually, he's yeah, a smart. He, he's yeah. an intelligent con man. But the the average American is a zombie and doesn't know what anything let alone you know the average american's a zombie he doesn't really know what political party he stands for right well that's you, true yeah that i would agree true. i would agree yeah you, you agree. agree from experience You're from experience yeah talking about the the lord obama president obama by the savior. way a lot of these people are well dressed what political party is he affiliated with well, i don't really know you don't even know <laughs> i'm sorry are you are you an american citizen yes i know oh, and okay are you sure you got some got a it's not like he's outside a mental institution or something. I mean, this is a citizen. At UT or downtown Austin or in South Congress, they're this dumb. We've done the videos. You're very, thank you for being informed. Okay, thanks, zombie. What party is the president a part of? Oh, I don't know. Isn't he like a Democrat or something? You're just guessing. Yeah. You just say you don't know. I don't. We're just checking. Thanks. What party is Barack Obama affiliated with? It's one of those. Huh? It's one of those. One of those. This isn't really on the air, is it? I have nothing good to say. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't know what political I, party he's I, I'm, affiliated with? I'm not sure what he's affiliated with. Look at the sewage coming out right behind her. Who he's affiliated with. S Satan, he's affiliated they with. They dump Satan. raw sewage out there and everybody swims in it. It's a mouthpiece of Satan. Right there, I've been at that beach. Is that right? They dump lightly treated sewage it, out. Tell me more about that. Look, right over her shoulder is sewage the pouring out. The Illuminati, and he's uh, paving the path for the Antichrist to come. So there you go. You can uh, check it out at Infowars.com. We have links to a bunch of his videos. And, and Mark, uh, you've said that you show everybody, and this is really what happened uh, out there as they swim in the sewage as well. Mark Dice joining us via audio Skype. Thank you. The videos are cut short. I mean, I fill up a signature panel of maybe 16, 14 signatures. And to make the video so it's not so redundant and repetitive, I cut them to about three or four or five minutes. But they could be 10, 8, 10 minutes long. Most of the people, the petition signers, the videos that you've seen about me getting people to sign these just Orwellian, Huxleyan, idiocracy petitions that nobody in their right mind should even consider even looking at. And these people just sign them. It, what I'm demonstrating is that the politicians, how they abuse people through the power of suggestion, through repetition, through portraying the aura of authority. It's so obviously I just approach these people and just use the keywords. Hey, will you support Obama? And their brain literally shuts off. I mean, we're living, as you know, we're living in the idiocracy Orwellian Huxley and circus. This just kind of a, a combination. I mean, Orwell himself wrote that, you know, every citizen 
uh, the beliefs, the habits, the tastes, the emotional attitudes, the characteristics of our time are designed to sustain the mystique of the party and prevent the true nature of present day society from being perceived. And I mean, that's what we have. The only people who don't sign the petition videos are the people who just know what we're doing or just don't want to be bothered by a petition signer. But you can see the disdain in my face for the, the people. People ask how I don't crack up and start laughing. It's very sad, actually. We got 90% of Austinites, including a guy that said he was a chemical engineer, to sign uh, a form to ban dihydrogen monoxide, which, of course, is water. And we've also got the majority of them, uh, it was, again, about 9 out of 10, who called to put gun owners in FEMA camps. I mean, this is what they do. As long as you say, for Obama, we're going to put gun owners in slave camps. They go, yes, I want slave camps. And they'll sign their name, birth date, and signature to it. I could probably get their social security numbers if I really wanted to. What these are is flaming authoritarians, Mark. They want to help. They're so lazy. These are probably people that were too lazy to get off of their couch and go and actually vote. So if you just stick a petition in front of their face, they feel like they're helping. They, they want to support the power structure. And then the reason that we're in this idiocracy, as you know, as much as the audience knows, is because this is the Illuminati plan to dumb everybody down so that the small middle class of hardworking, educated, uh, you know, old fashioned Americans are the ones that are going to get all of their wealth sucked away by this socialist system that they're setting up so that the the it's like an inop, inoptocracy the the people who don't work and refuse to work are rewarded with the fruits of the labor of those who and you do notice work they hard. always have that arrogant attitude they don't know what party it's in but they can dismiss you they get as long as they act arrogant they're still winners uh, that's that's the main spirit they have is the arrogance and the love of their ignorance it is their weapon it is their power the cell phones, you know, laughter is the best medicine. So I'm trying through these videos to shake people and to have people share the videos with their friends and family to sort of wake up because we've fallen asleep at the wheel. The Americans have become hypnotized and mesmerized by their smartphones. I agree. Listen, we're out of time, Mark. We're going to get you back on for a full hour soon to really go through your videos and talk about the world. But in one minute, tell us what happened with Jay Leno last night. Just as an example of how behind the scenes, behind the curtain. You know, I was up there with some friends, and I just randomly happened to be chosen in the audience to ask Jay a question for the Ask Jay Anything segment. So they have their pre-approved scripted question, so I read the question. I said, yeah, I'll ask that. It'll be fun, you know. And they said, okay, look, if you, you got to ask the question, or we're going to edit and retape and all this stuff. So I was nice. They didn't know who I was, but after the fact, they asked for my name and, you know, what I do. And it was just a funny question, and he had a canned response. And last night when the show aired, my quick 30-second little segment just mysteriously was edited out of the show. I think because the producers probably after the fact went and looked me up and realized, like, oh, man, we can't have Mark Sure, of course. But, I mean, my point is it shows the dinosaur nature of the old media because I've been behind the scenes a lot as well. It really is all scripted. They, they wanted me on The View to script what I was going to say, and I basically played along with it. Same thing with... Uh, CNN. And then, of course, I just go on there and do whatever I want. Uh, but, Mark, great to have you on. Thank you so much. And your story's up on DrudgeReport.com. If folks want to see that, it's video. Obama supporters don't know what party Obama is affiliated with. We'll continue to watch to see what the zombies do next. Great job, Mark. Appreciate it, Alex. Keep up the great work. He is the uh, zombie slayer. Uh, he, he, he exposes them and shows how happy they are in their ignorance. Are we choosing our own destiny, or has it been pre-selected for us? As we've moved through history, every great leader has had to understand the potential of information. Billions of dollars have been spent privately and publicly looking at how to tap into your psyche. From compulsory state education to the Hollywood media brainwashing machine, we are kept in perpetual bondage to the ideas that shape our actions. When somebody obscures that feedback loop between you observing and testing it out and verifying it. They can take total control of your awareness. All of this is happening so fast, you need to be ahead of the game. How to engineer the opinion of the American people so that they would not only endorse, but demand a war. Right Other now. than another one, another plane just hit. State of mind, because there's a war on for your mind. Get your copy of State of Mind, the movie, at Infowars.com. And remember, every order at Infowarsstore.com receives a free citizen rulebook.